Hello guys, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing my NBA playoff predictions. Uh, I'm just going to be going over the full entire playoffs and giving my thoughts on every series. Uh, I know this is different than my normal vlogs, but I thought this would be cool since I do a lot of basketball stuff on this channel. So, oh, you're wearing your Pacers shirt, I see. You're probably going to be biased towards the Pacers and have no. them go to the finals. No. Yeah, that you're going to pick the Pacers to go to the finals, aren't you? No, I'm not going to be biased. You're, you're just going to be a biased Pacers fan. What just happened? Well, let, let, let's start the predictions. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to start off with the Lakers versus the Trailblazers. Uh, for this series, I definitely think the Trailblazers could even make it as far as the finals. But, uh, sadly, they got matched up versus the Lakers. I could see either one of these teams making it to the finals, which is crazy coming out of a 1-8 matchup. But I don't think the Blazers are going to be able to beat the Lakers. They could... But I'm going to say the Lakers in six. I think the Blazers are going to keep it very close almost every game. But I'm going to say the Lakers win it in six games. Now on to the Thunder and the Rockets. I think this could easily be the best first round series. Um, lots of people are picking the Rockets. But I think with Westbrook being injured and for a little bit of the series and how far the Thunder have came, I feel like their run continues and they win in seven games. So now we go to the Nuggets and the Jazz, two teams that I think are underrated. Um, but I think the Jazz, they're going to be missing Bojan Bogdanovic and possibly Mike Conley for some of the series. So just based off that alone. And Denver, Denver's been playing very well. So I'm going to pick the Nuggets uh, in six games. And then in the last series in the West, is the Clippers and the Mavericks. The Mavericks are very young, but I definitely think they're very talented, and they could easily steal a couple games and make this a very good series, but I don't think they have enough experience to win the series, and that's why I'm going to say the Clippers win it in six games. Then we go out to the East, the Bucks and the Magic. You know who I'm picking there. I'm going to say a 4-0 sweep, and then we're going to go immediately to the Raptors and Nets. This one, I think, will be a five-game series, but I think Toronto's going to uh, pretty much dominate. I feel like the Nets may steal a game here and there because of Karis LeVert, and that's basically the only reason I think they'll steal a game. And then the other two Eastern Conference series, one of them involving my team, are ve two very good series. We're going to start with the Celtics and the Sixers. I think the Sixers are underrated. I think if they had Ben Simmons, I may even have picked them, but without Ben Simmons, I'm going to say the Celtics win this series. I'll say six games, and then the last first round series, my Indiana Pacers versus the Miami Heat. Um, I know everybody's probably going to think I'm going to pick the Pacers here, but I am going to pick the Miami Heat. I'm going to say in seven games, I think the Pacers are going to put up an amazing fight. And if, that's, this is a big if, if Sabonis comes back in time to play the last game or two, I could, ease, I could see the Pacers winning this series, but there's also part of me that could see them getting almost swept. So I went in between and picked the Heat in seven. But if Sabonis comes back in time for the last couple of games, then I may think the Pacers could win this. And also, whenever I pick against my team, uh, they seem to always win, no matter if it be in football or basketball or baseball. So uh, maybe this is a good thing, me picking against the Pacers. <laughs> and then we're going to move on to the second round. We have the Lakers and the Thunder. Sadly, here is where I think the Thunder's run ends. I definitely think they'll push this series to like five or six. I'll say six games for the fun of it. But... I don't think they're going to be able to beat the Lakers. I think the Blazers would stand a better shot versus the Lakers than the Thunder, even though I think the Thunder are better than the Blazers. I, I don't know where, how that makes sense. Um, and then we have the Clippers and the Nuggets. I, as I said, I think Denver is crazy underrated, and I could see them pushing this series to seven. And you know what? I'm going to say seven, but I still think the Clippers will beat the Nuggets. I think the Nuggets are one piece away from being able to beat some of those top dogs in the West, like the Clippers and the Lakers. And then in the East, we have the Heat versus the Bucks, two teams that are rivals of the Pacers, and I'm picking Milwaukee. Um, and then we have the 
Raptors and the Celtics, which is going to be an amazing series if it happens. And I'm going to have to say Toronto in, I'm, I'll am i say seven games. Because Boston matches up well versus Toronto, but I think Toronto is very good. So I'm going to pick Toronto. And then we go to the Western Conference Finals. We have the Lakers and Clippers. No doubt, I think these are the two best teams in the playoffs. Um, you know what? I Originally, I was going to pick the Clippers in seven. But I'm changing my prediction and going with the Lakers in seven. I don't know why, but I just have a big feeling that the Lakers are going to end up winning the title, which I just spoiled basically the championship. So I'm going to pick the Lakers in seven. And then we have the Bucks versus the Raptors. And this is going to be a big shocker to people. I'm going to pick the Raptors in six games. I think the Raptors are insanely underrated. And I think Milwaukee... If, they, if Milwaukee loses in the conference finals again, maybe Giannis requests a trade or whatever. But I definitely think Toronto could easily beat Milwaukee in a series. And then we go to the finals. We have the Raptors and the Lakers. This, I think, may be as good as a Clippers versus Lakers series because of the way the two teams match up. But in the end, I'm going to pick the Lakers in seven games and... The Lakers as the NBA champions. Now, if you guys disagree with my picks, please do not just dislike and say, oh my gosh, you stupid, dumb, poop head. Like, everybody has different opinions and different statures on where each team is. So if you guys disagree, don't leave hate. Just tell me your predictions down below in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and see ya. Say that it feels right